All right, Tim, how far away do we think we are from seeing AMD add more than eight cores to a single CCD on consumer C CPUs? So the, the mainstream ones that yeah. we would buy. So this is kind of a, a crystal ball type question. Really not sure on this one. I'm holding you to this answer, by the way. <laughs> we, so you know. we did look up the Zen 5 CPU rumors just before, and we got three different answers. So they, diff one it's publication said eight, one said 12, and one said 16 per it's CCD. so unlike rumors. I know, it's crazy, yeah, right? Yeah, normally that, yeah. So that's not giving us very useful information. I don't think we can really draw too many conclusions out of that. I think for consumer CPUs, I think it would be, you know, possible that they may go to like a 12 core but unlikely you know 16 core cpus are still not really a super mainstream part they're still very much for the high-end enthusiast you know people doing production work and mm -hmm. things for gaming a 12 core at that level of performance is probably not necessary so you have to think about if the majority of their parts they're selling are sort of in a ryzen 7 or 5 line again they probably wouldn't need that but then they are introducing their new like they've got Zen 4C and Zen 5C um, CPU core architectures, which are sort of a more, they're like a cut down version of the primary core design that's meant for high density applications. So servers, things like that, where you need super high density of, of CPU cores. Now, maybe they would bring that to a consumer platform, in which case you would see more CPU cores per CCD. But if we're talking about the fully fledged design, I'm not sure it's necessary. So we'll see what they do. But it's basically, I don't know, is the yeah, answer. It, it wouldn't be as, let's say, cost efficient. And how necessary is it? Because applications where you, you're wanting more than eight cores, generally we're not talking about gaming. So, mm -hmm. and then CCD latency is generally not a big problem there. So they're sort of, it wouldn't be really addressing a problem um, that, mm -hmm. that we're having really. And again, what we really need is faster cores. So if you get faster cores, then eight cores is going to be plenty for gaming. And that sort of solves the latency problem there anyway. Yeah. And AMD's bringing back Threadripper as well by mm -hmm. the all, all likelihood, especially Seems with the Zen 4 design. Mm -hmm. So that's going to serve the market of above 16 cores for, for really mm -hmm. high productivity users. And I would imagine Zen 5 is going to have something like that as well. So I guess they're sort of going to be balancing the whole, you know, do we need the CCDs to be denser to improve servers or do we need it to be denser to improve gaming? And I think, to be honest, what would probably be a better choice is if they've got a certain amount of die space to use to continue increasing the cache capacity as mm -hmm. opposed to increasing the number of cores. Because mm -hmm. if they've got more space to use and they could put, let's say, four extra cores, take it from an eight to 12 core CCD or making the non vcache malls have significantly more cache or maybe beef up the memory control or something like that, that's probably going to have a bigger impact for gaming is probably what I would suggest they yeah, should do. faster cores. I mean, yeah. we looked at this a while ago when there was the whole core debate for gaming, which seemed a bit silly to us. We looked at more cores versus more cache, found out that you know the cache was attributing for bigger performance uplifts. I think it was the 10th gen core mm -hmm. series going from a Core i5 to a Core i9. It was really about the increase in L3 cache opposed to the increase in cores. Anyway, uh, and I think that trend will continue for some time because I haven't really seen any evidence that games are starting to require more cores, more uh, more CPU power than what you can get out of a high-end 8-core. Anyway, we'll move on to the next one, I think.